Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks, and I did a video just yesterday on this exact same thing. But here's another way you can do it and do math. This person needed uh, some 2.43 or 413 millimeter circle, six millimeters apart. She didn't tell how long the arch is going to be. So I'm just going to start with one and make it a circle. And if you go to object and convert it to a curve, which I've already done, then you can go to windows and dockers, go to properties and find out how long that curve is. And it is 239.354. That's how long the, the line is. Divide it by six millimeters and you get 39 point, and you need to run this out if you want it pretty close. 39.89233, and it kept going, but I stopped. Take 360, divide it by that number, and you get your angle degree of 9.02492. So, let's just test this out. And instead of going all the way around the circle, we're just going to, let's ungroup this one I've already done just to get one of these. And I, I like working in the center of the page, so I'm gonna hit P, put that in the center page. I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna hit T. So that put it at the top of the page. Now we can manually move it and I like using uh, hairlines or indexing lines so we know it's in the middle. Now, and this is also important for working in the center of the page to have your indexing lines in the center. We're gonna control D and make a duplicate of this. Double click on it and we're gonna move our rotation to the center. A lot of times it doesn't look like it's in the center, but it is. Well, I've already screwed up here because I've got a degree. So instead of worrying about all that, I actually had two copies of it and you can see it's got a degree. I'm just gonna fill it in. Well, that doesn't always work. Let's back up. I'm gonna smart fill it. I could just draw a new circle. But what the smart field does, now we can left click and right click, and now it doesn't have a degree. Now it is a new circle. So let's just go back and hit, well, that's not the one I want. I want that one, P, grab them both, T is in top. Let's zoom in here. And then let's put this thing at the top holding down the control button after you move it so you won't move it off. Control D and make a duplicate and move our rotation to the center. Now we're gonna rotate this thing 9.02429. Now I would just kind of check your measurement right here with your parallel dimension tool. We need six millimeters. This is 20.24 of an inch. But if we go to millimeters and then actually change the, you know, you can make it, I mean, it's 5.99. That's about as close as you're gonna get it. And then just control D again, if we would have kept going, we'd be okay. But we have to type in that number again by hitting plus 9.02. four two nine or, or whatever the number is zero point two four two nine and then it rotated it again then control d and it'll keep doing it now my suggestion because it could be off a little bit is to only do half and then this is depending on how big your arc is and if you look we've got it right on the indexing line so we're good let's just remove this now what I'm going to do is select all those and I'm not selecting the circle because, or the big circle because I'm not touching it all. I'm going to control G and group that. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And then I'm going to, I'm going to put my ratio back to the center and I'm just going to mirror it. Well, evidently I didn't make a duplicate. Control D and then mirror it and just move this thing over closer. Now this is a little bit difficult because we don't have anything to really stop it, but we're gonna get to that center, start moving and hold down the control button, it should snap right to that. This way I have six millimeters apart, 
on this arc, and I could continue the arc. That was one problem I didn't know yesterday, how long our arc is. That's how I would do it. I, know, I mean, well, I would do it the other way. Um, but then you could actually remove your arch, and you have those circles six millimeters apart. And if you look, uh, we did it perfectly along the line. Now, there is two copies of this one, so I would go to group and ungroup and get rid of that one, and then that way you've only got a single copy of each little circle, and then you could control G it and group it together. So that's just another way kind of using math, and as long as you kind of extend it out pretty far, and you can see how close we are, it's a little bit off. And let's just see how far we are as far as the measurement to the center. To the center, we're still 0 0.24, 0 0.24, or we turn it to millimeters. We're still the we're still on. We're still six millimeters apart. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.